How to find a research topic and question. Six short steps to research bliss. The first step in finding your topic is to figure out what the assignment is. So pull out your class syllabus or log into the online classroom and figure out exactly what your teacher is asking you to do. The next step is to think about what's the general subject, the overall big picture of the assignment. Is your teacher asking you to write an assignment on your thoughts on diversity? So the broader subject would be diversity. And what are the issues related to that subject? And which ones of those issues are you interested in? You're going to be spending a lot of time with this topic, so it's important to think about what's interesting to you. What would you like to learn more about? To help you answer these questions, concept mapping is a very useful tool. Now you can make a concept map on a good old piece of paper with a pen, or you can go online and find plenty of free websites where you can make concept maps. For the one I did here, I was pretending that the assignment is on diversity. So I just wrote down ideas that came to mind when I was thinking about diversity. So one of them was multiculturalism. That's an important part of the diversity discussion. And when I was thinking about multiculturalism, that made me think about race or ethnicity or equality. You could also think about diversity in the workplace and how that affects employee training or maybe affirmative action policies. You could also think about diversity in communities. So what does that look like in schools, neighborhoods, or churches? Whatever comes to mind, just throw it out on your concept map. It's really important to have this moment to brainstorm and to think of ideas. Now once you've done this step, you can turn your topic into a question. Now you don't want a research question that's too broad, because if it is, it'll be hard to organize your ideas. You also don't want a research question that's too narrow because there may not be enough to write on. An example of a great research question, especially on the topic of diversity that we were looking at earlier, is how do diversity training programs impact hiring practices in retail organizations? This is a great question that ties in with what we are thinking about as far as diversity in the workplace, so you can see retail organizations, and specifically in training programs, how it shapes and forms employees. So with that example in mind, you can then play with your question. So think about how you can improve it based on the ideas in your concept map. So I just made this list of ideas that were related to diversity. So when I go to research, I could look at diversity, or I could think about multiculturalism, race or ethnicity, or equality, and I could pair up any of those words with these ideas related to workplace. So employment policies, employee training, personnel management. And you can make any combination of these words as you do your research and perfect your research question. So for example, I chose to look up diversity and workplace. And you can plug this into your favorite database. I just chose EBSCO because that's a popular one. And I put in diversity and workplace, click search, and got a lot of results. Now as I read through those articles, I worked on fine-tuning my research question. Based on what you read, be sure to perfect your question. A good research question is clear and focused and interesting to you. Good luck with your work.